Uh, Nesrin, uh, there you are. Um, you, you started a little bit explaining, but we, we know that you have uh, also been facing uh, difficulties. Maybe just to, to add to the, the, the questions you were, uh, I mean, the, the, the difficulties you were mentioning before, um, how could the response that you, you are already undertaking, how could it be proved? And what are you expecting also in terms of like external actors that could, uh, could help the work that you are, you are doing on the COVID-19 uh, response as authorities? Nesrin. Uh, thank you. Uh, absolutely, as SDF, uh, as, a, as a peace uh, forces, uh, we seek for peace always. Uh, we are we are under attack. Uh, our existence is under threat. I would like it to provide some numbers. After we announced the ceasefire is on the call, uh, uh, so uh, more than uh, 56 uh, violations of the ceasefire were committed by the Turkish uh, side. Secondly, we, we are in our area, there is uh, 16 uh, uh, camps of uh, refugees, IDPs. More than 1 million uh, population are uh, uh, in these uh, camps and uh, are IDPs and people who are displaced from their own home, homeland. We are keeping uh, 9,000 ISIS uh, members uh, in the prisons. Uh, uh, even uh, also in, in, in a whole camp uh, which is hosting uh, more than uh, uh, 70,000 uh, from Daesh families. Uh, add to all, we are under siege also our area. There is a diplomatic uh, ignorance uh, or a political isolation Unfortunately, also all the border crossing uh, are closed. Even if, even if uh, we we would like to to bring by our own means uh, uh, equipment or any uh, humanitarian aid or support, uh, we cannot do because all the border crossings are closed. Uh, so uh, internationally and even uh, regionally, uh, our area is uh, really uh, isolated and neglected. An example, uh, first of all, uh, WHO. Even, even though uh, the WHO uh, uh, had the information of uh, about two confirmed uh, cases of COVID-19 in, in our area, uh, uh, WHO did not uh, officially communicate to the self-administration of Northeast Syria which is controlling and running all this area. This was, uh, uh, this could be, uh, this opened the doors for, uh, 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 I mean, a catastrophe in our area. Even though uh, we uh, wanted to take the opportunity and take the chance from this uh, call to, to uh, 
to do or to, to, to reach to a humanitarian cooperation and uh, peace. I would like to mention one uh, more point, sorry. Uh, uh, the, uh, the economic uh, situation in Syria uh, and what Syria is facing, everybody knows what's going on. So the, the Syrian currency, uh, the money, uh, Syrian money is uh, low, are losing their value, and the dollar is too high, which affects the economic uh, in, of our region. So uh, people here cannot afford to buy clothes, uh, to basic needs. Uh, this is uh, and uh, this is uh, this will affect uh, their immunity to protect uh, uh, from the virus, COVID nineteen. We call we call. Uh, the international community, the international uh, humanitarian organization, uh, not to ignore and to really uh, uh, take uh, steps. Okay. Th thank you so much, uh, Nesrin. Uh, I think there are a series of, of issues that we could go deeper into, but uh, we, we will uh, take note and, and uh, bring that forward also in the report and to be able to, to raise these issues uh, with, with the different actors. But it's mainly the access, the lack of information and the economic impact and, and for sure the, the situation of the camps, um, the prisons, etc. 